I have a very serious question for white people and for the rest of the world. I have never seen a Caucasian family, no matter how good and nice they are, put up the image of a black man and teach their children that this was Jesus, that this is the black man who died for their sins and that this is their savior. Even though they would tell you that Jesus wasn't white, they still put up the image of a white man and depict it to their children as their savior. Meanwhile, we black people, this is a group of African children. And this right here is what most of us were raised. In fact, this generation of Christians in Africa, they were all raised to believe that this white man died for their sins. They know that Jesus was not a white man, and yet they still sit down and watch these movies over and over and over. Do you understand the psychological implications of that? Then you wonder why African people cannot be productive and they cannot even see themselves beyond the Europeans. Everything that we Africans do, we are always trying to copy the Europeans. We don't design any original technology, original religion, original politics. We're just trying to copy. Have you ever understood what causes such things? This is called domestication, indoctrination. This must stop, my brothers and sisters. This is no offense to white people, but white people will not even do what you people are doing in this video. These poor children are going to grow up thinking that it was a white man who died for their sins. And when they see any white man with long hair and a beard, they will start thinking that it's Jesus. And they will not be able to perform at their maximum potential. This is sad, my brothers and sisters. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you are part of the problem. And if you think you have good intention, you think you can pray, you think you have Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit has not let you know. The Holy Spirit has not given you common sense to know that this is deception, pure deception. This is a lie. If there is a devil, this is devilish. Then I don't know what type of Holy Spirit you have. It must be a wicked evil spirit that you have. Anybody who teaches black people that this is Jesus who died for their sin is a wicked person. Pure wickedness. It is time for us to end this nonsense, my people. It is time for us to abandon this nonsense. If God wants to talk to African people, let him come down from heaven. We are not compelled to believe what anybody else says, what anybody else wrote in the book. The only people who died for our sins were our ancestors. The only people who died for us are our ancestors. Yet you condemn your ancestors by promoting this guy. You think that this guy cares about you? If the people who look like him came and colonized you, you think that he cares about you? No offense against you, my white folks, but I know that you white folks would not put up the image of a black man and tell your children that that is their savior. You will not do that under no circumstances. So we don't need to do that either as Africans.